To reduce your personal travel emissions, you can walk, bike, or take public transit where you can. But if you have to drive, there are some things you can do to limit your fuel use. The less efficient your car is, the more potential you have to save fuel and thus reduce your emissions by engaging in eco-driving behaviors. Those include easier acceleration, maintaining a cruising speed, and avoiding hard braking. Big changes in speed use more gas overall. One big fuel saver, batch your trips. If you can hit multiple destinations in one go rather than leaving your home multiple times through the day to get your errands run, that can help save some gas. Keep your tires filled with their recommended air pressure and avoid gassing up your car in the hottest part of the day, which can cause some fuel to evaporate. You can also improve fuel economy by getting rid of any unnecessary weight in your car. Get out. To help nudge yourself, see if your car has features that show your fuel economy. Research shows that this kind of feedback improves fuel economy by about 6% on average. You can use tools like Google Maps to show you the most efficient driving route. And the same goes for flights. Google can rank them by emissions. So if your preferred close airport only has flights with layovers, but you could drive a little further to maybe a bigger airport and get a nonstop flight, you're going to be reducing your emissions by a lot, even considering that car trip or bus trip, however you get to the to the further airport. What do you think? Are these habits worth it for the climate? Let us know and stay tuned for part five.